What is up everybody, Mystic7 here, and today we'll be talking about sneak peek number two of the tournament update for Clash Royale, and actually today was a big one, uh, prize-wise. There's a lot of prizes because, I mean, you can't have a tournament without some big money prizes, you know what I'm saying? So today was about prizes more, and about, like, logistics and creation of tournaments, um, and we'll start off with the creation. So, uh, tournaments are free to join, but it does cost gems to create them, and, uh, all the gems you use to create the tournaments goes into the, uh, the pot, the jackpot, the winner's circle pot, um, in the form of tournament chests, and basically what a tournament chest is, um, it's just, you know, the gems that you use to create the tournament go into chests, which have cards in it, obviously, and that goes to the winners. Um, and the bigger the tournament is, the bigger and better the chests are, obviously, because the more expensive it is to make the tournament. Uh, and so here we go. Prizes. Now, we'll talk about the prizes. This is the fun stuff. So, there are going to be a lot of winners in these tournaments, guys. Nearly everyone in the top half of the tournament will win something. This is actually really awesome. So if you suck in the tournament, you're not going to win anything because you suck, right? If you do mediocre, you, you get into that, you know, middle, middle-ish area. You might win a little bit, but the higher up you go, the more you win. And uh, the winner gets the biggest chest, obviously, because, you know, who, who else is going to get the biggest chest, right? Um, and the winner's biggest chest in the biggest tournament could be up to 15,000 cards. Oh my god, that is a lot of cards, um, and it does hold a lot of epics and legendaries, so if you do win a fat-ass tournament, you are getting some legendary cards in your stockings this month for Christmas. So that is awesome, just the fact that, like, a lot of people will win stuff is pretty sick, um, and then, I mean, obviously, you can never go wrong with 15,000 cards and legendaries in a chest, that is just sick. Um, so that's the whole prize part of it, and then here we go to the balancing uh, you can only play in one tournament at a time, that just makes sense. Um, and then you can leave and join a new tournament at any time, but your progress will be lost in the tournament that you left. Also, that just makes sense, it's logistics. Um, and then you can't join another tournament while you have a tournament chest, because you can only hold one tournament chest at a time, um, and it actually does not take up spots in your regular four. Um, so like, the you know, the four chest slots you have for a multiplayer, um, those stay, those aren't really affected by tournaments. So the, the, uh, the tournament tab, because there's going to be like a whole separate tournament tab, um, that will hold your one tournament chest, so you cannot join another tournament while you have the tournament chest So you just gotta unlock that bitch, and then you're good And I'm assuming it takes probably like 12 hours to unlock a tournament chest or maybe a little bit less a little bit more Somewhere around there, but yeah, so that is sneak peek number two for the tournaments That's this is huge that all the prizes are coming out today, which is awesome And I'm very excited for this update guys. Let me know in the comments though Tell me what your guys' thoughts are what your predictions are for this update because I want to know how you guys feel Um, but yeah guys tournament update sneak peek numero dos was a big one. So now what we're going to do is keep on pushing up towards our goal of 4,000. We are trying to get to 4,000. Uh, eventually, we will do it. We're about to break 3,600. Unfortunately, I was going to get some stuff from the Epic Sunday card shop, uh, but I don't use anything in here even a little bit, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we're rocking the P.E.K.K.A. deck today, and we're going to go out and let's get an attack, and let's start this off strong. And, uh, okay, it gets a level 9. Oh, man. Oh, God. Good luck to you. Okay, so this... Ooh, we did not start with our Elixir Pump, though, so it will be a bit tricky. At the start of the game, we got, what is his name, uh, Dan, Dan Lay 10. Dan Lay. That's an interesting one. Oh, shit. Okay, I probably should start attacking. Fuck. Okay, there we go. All right, this is my, uh, this is one of my first attacks of the day. I did wake up not too long ago, so I am a little bit tired. So I'm sorry if I seem like I am half dead right now because I kind of am half dead. Uh, we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna have faith that this push right there can just get through everything and then we can kind of chill back. And throw a pump down. That's what I'm going to roll with. Okay, he does have his miner right there. Not really going to worry about it. Uh, we're just going to kind of let our troops do their thing. And hopefully we can... Um... Oh, our princess actually will get through. And then she'll get a fucking zap to the face. That's what she's going to get. I was about to say she's going to get a shot on the tower. But <laughs> I was I was horribly mistaken. So the queen is dead. Alright, now we have to use the P.E.K.K.A. Let's see, what does this man Donley here have to defend? I don't think much. So this is going to be a hard push to stop. And I don't know if he's got it in him to stop it. So now I just need 9 Elixir, and it's pretty much game over from that point. Hopefully his princess will stop there. We can fireball her and the, uh, what is he? He's a, he's a, you're a wizard, Harry. All right, the ice wizard, not the wizard. Okay, here we go. Let's get the minions in. Ooh, actually, that was a really good, that was a good defensive play. That was actually great. He stopped my push. He absolutely just annihilated my push. Wow, good job. Well played. Well played, my friend. And he's going to drop a second Ice Wizard. Shit, he is just relentless with the Ice Wizards, isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? All right, let's get another pump down. He will use his Miner on my Princess. And I'm going to let his Miner do his thing. So he's going to get his first couple shots off on my Towers uh, starting right now. But he's playing some absolutely incredible defense, which is, you know, just props to him for that. Um, 
Let's see. Can he defend against this push, though? I'm going to try an Ice Wizard. And then I'm going to try the King Queen. Or King. Pff, the um, Dark Prince Prince push. And remember, he does have Barbarians. So I'm going to wait till he drops those down. Uh, if he drops those down. Fuck, dude. He is good. This guy definitely. He made it to here with the. He, did, he was not fucking around when he got to this high of trophies. He was. He was ready, and he played like a champion. Dude, he is really, really good. He's playing great. I definitely, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm trying my hardest to, to beat him out, but he just, he's a champion. Okay, he will be coming over here with his fucking, oh, my God. All right, well, there goes the elixir pump. Okay, I can put a prince there, and then I can put a P.E.K.K.A. there as well. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can get in. His ice wizard actually is down, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to drop a fireball on everything right here. Okay, let's go. Come on, get to that tower. Get to that tower. Oh, we got it. Eight seconds left. Come on. Come on. Quit dropping shit. Accept defeat. Accept defeat. Quit spamming stuff down, you bitch. You're going down. It's game over. God, he just fucking can't stop spamming shit down, can he? Oh, my God. Stop it. Let my P.E.K.K.A. get to your tower, you bitch. Okay, well, here. We're going to push this right side then. Yeah, now you're going to defend two sides. Dude, he is just spamming shit. Oh, but you can't defend right, boy. You can't defend two towers. That is it. I would have two crowned two if I had more time, but he is going to be going down right there. Yo, hey, props to this guy. I didn't mean to call him a bitch. I'm sorry. He was playing incredible defense. If I didn't drop my uh, princes over to the right side right there, he would have won that. But that was some incredible defense by this guy. So GG. And uh, there's a dub. Okay, we broke 3,600. Awesome. That is one step closer to 4K. We are now... 380 trophies away that was just my great math right there so let's go out do another attack and then answer today's common question of the day uh which is from dynamite or dynite gaming and the question is do you think clash of clans will have a bounce back from royale and he's basically saying because clash of clans kind of it didn't die the game didn't die but it got really really like there's a lot less popular over these last like month couple months um and basically will clash royale bring that back and i feel like it would have already happened when Clash Royale came out because Clash Royale is trying to, or not trying, starting to slow down a little bit too. Um, so I don't know. I feel like, see, Clash Royale is a game that, like, it's fun for a little while. Like, I know a lot of people, most of my friends who were playing Clash Royale don't play it anymore. Like, it's fun for a little while until you realize, like, how much money you have to actually put in the game in order to progress. And then that's when people start playing. And since the game is so pay to play, I don't know how long it's going to last because. Not everyone's going to want to sit there and spend hella money on the game um, just so that they can keep playing it, you know. So, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see where it goes. But I'm saying that I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say that um, Clash Royale is going to, you know, bring back Clash of Clans or, or help the game survive. If anything, it would have an opposite effect because it would pull players away from Clash of Clans and more towards Clash Royale. And um, I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. I... I just, it's hard to answer. It's a hard question to answer, basically. Um, but, again, I don't know. We'll have to see, but that was the common question of the day. Sorry it wasn't so thoroughly answered. See, the, it's always fun attempting to do the common question of the day while, you know, doing a raid at the same time. Because, like, I can never freaking answer it because I'm too focused on the raid. Oh, what a dick. Okay, this guy's, and this guy's an ass, too. Uh, I should have used, actually, I should have used my minions right there, but I used my prince instead, or my dark prince, and then now I really need a fireball. Oh, come on, come on, there it is. Okay, awesome. So, fireball down. Please hit everything. I hit almost everything, and he's going to take my tower, but I will take his. So, we are pretty much tied here. He does have uh, my rot tower, my rot tower down a little bit more uh, than I have his left tower, but we're going to put a P.E.K.K.A. in right there. And he does have another elixir pump down, so we're going to have to... I now have to get mine down as well. So, okay. Here we go. He's got his golem in, but I think we can take his tower before his golem gets anywhere close to us. Um, because we do have the prince... Oh, shit. Come on, come on. Stop those minions. Stop those minions. Stop the minions. Okay, there we go. There we go. They're chilling. They are chilling. All right. We got a good push going there. I'm going to get my minions going in right there. 30 seconds left. Fuck, dude. He had some great defense right there. Oh man, this is just not gonna go well. This is gonna—it's gonna be one of these raids. Shit, shit! Come on, Ice Wizard in! Oh no, no! His fucking—he his deck is too spammy. I don't know how to combat this. Oh my god! Well, that's gonna be game, and it's looking like he's gonna take the win right there. Oh, that sucks! And I was just sitting here with Max Elixir, expecting something to happen. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, that was a weird deck. He had—he had the Golem, and then he just had hella spammy troops. 
uh, which worked really well against defending against my very tanky army. And that's going to be a 2 to 1 loss for 36 cups. Fuck. Well, that was the. Uh, I always lose the comment question of the day. I, I don't know if I, if I have to stop answering the comment question of the day while trying to do an attack because that's just completely distracting. And then I half ass answer the question, then I lose the attack. We're going to have to figure something out here, guys, because I'm done losing these fucking last attack of the video. But whatever. That was the last attack in the comment question of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed again. Tell me what you guys think about the update in the comments down below. And that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed again. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.